So, uh, today we are going to visit two locations where William Wallace was known to be around. So the first location we're going to visit is uh, where Sir William Wallace was born, which is Eldersley in Redfordshire. And then the second place we're going to visit is where he moved to and married his love, Murren Braid Flute, which is going to be in Lanark, which is called the Saint, uh, Saint Kend Kendigan, Kendigan, something like that church, right? Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that because it's coming up to the anniversary of William Wallace's death. I think it's in a couple of days time. And I thought to myself, why not go and visit some of these landmarks where he had visited, where he was born, or where he was you know, hanging about? Why not? What an iconic man he is as well, fighting for Scottish independence. So yeah, we're going to go and visit some of these places today. So we are here. We are here at the Wallace Monument in Eldersley. Here we go, let's go and investigate this place. It's actually quite, oh, hello, nice thing. Nice little car parking space as well. Here we go, what a place. Incredible. So this is it. This is the Wallace Monument in Eldersley in Renfrewshire. And this is where William Wallace was born in around about 1270. Um, it's massive. I mean, if you take a look around here, you can see how big it is. So, where the tree is outlined, see where the trees are outlined here, and along and along and along and along. This is how big the estate would have been. Archaeologists done a, a dig in 1998, and this is where they said the whole manor would have basically stretched a lot. It's an incredible place, it really is. And to even think that the man himself actually sort of first drew breath in here, on this ground here, it's incredible. This is the yew tree, locally known as the Wallace yew. So this was planted 300 years ago and has been kept maintained. And it's still in pretty good nick. As you can see, there's a fencing around it to stop people going in, but it is looked after. And uh, excellent. area that you see just now this was called the Wallace house in the 15, 15th to 17th century it was a medieval kitchen and uh, later on a dovecot what a place everybody assumed that this was William Wallace's house but it's not William Wallace's house would have been wooden back in those days and as I say, this is definitely not where he lived. This is a kitchen for the oven. <laughs> so, um, not too far out from Lanark now. Uh, we just left Glasgow. Um, and as I say, we're driving to um, a church in Lanark where William Wallace supposedly married his beautiful young bride and uh, we're going to check out the church and just see what it is, see what, see what it's about.
Cantigan's Church, which was built in 603 AD. And this is where the place that William Wallace, Sir William Wallace, came to worship, came to pray. And this is where he apparently married his beloved wife, Marilyn Braidflute. Now, he met her in 1296. She was only 18 years old, but she did die the year after in 1297. So she was maybe about 18, 19 when she died. Now, this is apparently the place where they got married. And I'll tell you what, it's not exactly massive. The camera lady comes forward and has a little look. You can see it's not exactly massive. You can definitely feel it. Just think that the man himself literally stood in this place. It's incredible. But this is where we wanted to come and just come and visit and see what it was like. And uh, I'll tell you what, it didn't disappoint. It's, it's beautiful. Strongly recommend if you haven't been here yet, just sneak through those little side bits there. This is where we just came through there. Sneak through there. <laughs> But yeah, I'm glad I came to visit this place. Beautiful.